welcome to my video about the infamous 26-hour day in Star Trek. In the infinitely expanding universe of Star Trek, there exists a plethora of world-building flavor. These enriching details range from some of the best and hugely diverse array of humanoid alien races to consistently brilliant examples of science fiction technology in use. But today, we're going to talk about something a little more subtle, yet still fascinating, the 26-hour day cycle. So, we all know that on Earth, a day cycle is 24 hours. But what about in space? Each planet has its own specific rotational period, so depending on its side and rotational speed, a day could last any number of hours. This is where star dates come in handy for the Federation and their quasi-military to keep track of times and days across various planets. But why the 26-hour day in Deep Space Nine? Well, the station operated above the planet Badger, whose rotational period was 26 hours. It just makes more sense to use Badger and timekeeping to run a tight and orderly station, especially since the station was operated by the Badger government with the huge assistance of Starfleet and the Federation. Plus, if they kept to Earth hours, things would have quickly gotten confusing as the station orbited a planet with a longer day, night cycle. So there you have it, the origins of the 26-hour day in Star Trek. While it may seem like a small detail, it's fascinating to see how even the subtlest aspects of world building can add depth and richness to a fictional universe. And who knows, maybe one day we'll be traveling through space ourselves, keeping track of time in ways we can't even imagine yet. Thanks for watching.